Hello, hello. My name is Tina and I will be introducing you today to ARA Institute of Canterbury in New Zealand. Thank you for considering to study a semester in New Zealand. I can assure you, you won't regret it. Firstly, I'd like to show you on our website studyappliedsciences.co.nz a few student stories we have there. So if you click on student stories, you can even see the category Norwegian student stories. And here we have a couple of student stories where students have explained their experience. And in particular, Andreas, he talks about why you should study in New Zealand. My name is Andreas. I'm from Molde in Norway and I went to New Zealand to study logistics for one semester in 2018 and I loved it. New Zealand is a natural wonderland featuring thousands of kilometers of pristine beaches, active volcanoes and geysers. And then here Andreas explains about the university system in New Zealand. In New Zealand there are two types of universities. The first type are the more practical oriented Institute of Technology and Polytechnics, or short ITP. ITPs offer industry projects and practical experience. The second and again, I just wanted to do a quick taste. And then in the next video, Andreas explains about funding, what is available in terms of funding. So feel free to watch that, funding your studies. So there is Lorna Cousin, of course. And there to is study in New Zealand is very worthwhile, but not cheap. Study fee is... And there is also the scholarship from Study Applied Sciences, specifically for Norwegian students. And then the last two student stories on our website is Jorun and Howard, who are studying nursing, and Anniken, who studied the Master in Design. So feel free to come back to our website anytime you like and watch those student stories. New Zealand is a beautiful little island in the south of the Pacific. It's about two times 12 hours flight. This is time well spent, and once you get here, you won't regret it. There are a few interesting bits about New Zealand that you definitely need to know. The All Blacks are our most famous export article. The All Blacks have been the world champion in rugby, that is, for about two terms now, that's eight years. These are the All Ferns, that are the ladies, they also play rugby. On the left here is Jacinda Ardern, our Prime Minister. She's one of the youngest Prime Ministers ever with 36 years. And she's also only the second Prime Minister in the world that fell pregnant <clears throat> during her governance. So, yeah, that is Jacinda Ardern and that is New Zealand, a small country but very progressive. This is the kiwi, our icon. And this is the kiwi fruit. Now, very importantly, New Zealanders call themselves kiwi, but not after the fruit. It is after the bird. This is popular culture in New Zealand. You will all have heard about Lord of the Rings, which was filmed in New Zealand. And you can see here the Hobbiton village. Now, these two flying guys are two famous musicians from Flight of the Concord. And New Zealand features many, many, many other fantastic bands. For instance, here on the left is Lord. She has won uh, many awards and you might know her music if you're lucky. And yes, she is from New Zealand, which probably nobody knows. And this is the actor Bowie in a very funny movie called The Hunt of the Wilderness People, which I can highly recommend. Hey, so there's lots to explore. Feel free. You probably know a little bit about New Zealand already. It has two islands. Very importantly, uh, Christchurch, where Ara is located, also has an international airport, so you don't have to fly into Auckland if you don't wish. You can fly directly into Christchurch. Of course, the South Island is more beautiful since Ara is located there. It also has only one million population and the North Island has about three, or 3.8 to be precisely. Ara is located in Christchurch. Christchurch is the biggest city on the South Island and it's also the capital of the province Canterbury. Canterbury is one of the most versatile provinces in New Zealand. You can sit in hot pools in Hemna Springs that are natural hot pools with beneficial mineral water. You can go whale watching in Kaikoura, you can go dolphin swimming in Akaura, which is a very lovely French settlement. 
and if you are ski bunny you will love it at Mount Hutt and if you arrive in July you will be arriving right in the middle of the skiing season. There has been an earthquake in Christchurch as you might be aware it was in 2011 and some of the city centre has been destroyed. This has led to a total boom in Christchurch. There is now lots of opportunity, lots of modern buildings You'll just love it there and yeah, have I said the economy is absolutely booming. Yes, Bit about um, ARA. ARA was established in 1906, so quite old for uh, New Zealand, that is. It has about 16,000 students and about 10% um, of those are international. It has links with over 50 universities all over the world. A couple of pictures. This is a very new building at the city campus. Uh, this is the, the engineering building, one of the newest buildings on campus. It's my favorite building. When you arrive, you will see why. And then here on the right is the building which houses the international office, so keep that in mind. And it's behind this main building here. There are a couple of services at campus. Uh, of course, there are international advisors, the student health center, the library also houses the learning services. Now, we'll say something about the learning services later. There is a recreation center, of course you have free Wi-Fi, there's an activities coordinator and I'll show you a few of the activities that we organize for international students. There is a homestay and accommodation advisor that you're welcome to get in touch with before you arrive and there are some lovely cafes and restaurants. Oh by the way the cafe in New Zealand is just the best. Some images of campus life and it is a really nice uh, campus with lots of glass and very modern. Here are some of the activities that, that our international students engage in. There are also bicycles for hire if you wish and lots of cultural festivals of course. Now the academic year is probably one thing that is very different to Europe. We start our academic uh, year in February, generally in the third week of February, and it goes until end of Jul June or beginning of July. Around Easter we have a two-week break where you are welcome to go travelling. Then we have a two or three weeks break and then it starts again with semester two in late July and goes until early December. Again, we have two weeks break. Now, we don't call our semester spring semester or autumn semester. We call it semester one and semester two. This is quite important, so it can be understood when you talk about semesters. So please keep that in mind. And then between uh, December and late February, there's actually no uni at all. There is a big holiday which also coincides with our summer. It will be a great time for you to travel after your studies. Also the course structure is slightly different and the credit system. So our bachelor has 360 New Zealand credits and the European bachelor has 180 ECTS. So in every semester you in New Zealand you do 60 credits which equals 30 ECDS. Most of our courses have 15 New Zealand credits or 7.5 ECDS which means you would take four courses in order to make up your 30 ECDS per semester. 
Now, four courses might not sound very many to you. However, those four courses will keep you fairly, fairly busy, trust my word, because each of these four courses requires you to write three assignments. And those assignments are not exams. They can be projects, they can be essays, they can be reports, they can be group works. Your timetable will fill up with these courses, trust me. Those assignments that are required, like essay writing, and report writing you most likely haven't done these particular reports so you first need to learn how to write these kind of reports and essays and this is where the learning services that I mentioned earlier will be coming in handy the learning service as I said is situated at the library and they will be able to help you with writing essays uh, writing assignments, also how to reference in English, which is a different system. So keep that in mind. The learning services is there to assist you with general questions about studying and about writing your assignments. There are actually tuition fees in all English-speaking countries, regardless where you go. And New Zealand is no exception. In fact, New Zealand is probably slightly cheaper than other English-speaking countries. We also offer a great discount to our partners. The fee for you as a student of our partner is roughly 7,000 New Zealand dollar, which equals about 5,000 euro. There is great funding available. You can pay for your study fees using Lohnekassen. You can apply for Lonokasten before you leave for New Zealand. You can check how much you can get from Lonokasten at www.lonokasten.no forward slash stutekalkulator. Yeah, there's also further funding available, 1000 euro towards the flight, plus a living allowance and uh, money towards the insurance. All of this money is a grant, which means you do not have to pay it back. It is a present, basically. So I can highly, highly recommend to all of you that you apply. There are some other small, comparatively small costs that uh, the student service fee of $125 per semester and also the medical insurance, which is $260 New Zealand dollars per semester. The other fee that I have noted here on the slide is the homestay fee, where you live with a New Zealand family. I will talk a little bit more about accommodation on the next slide, but the slide here is about cost. So um, the homestay would cost 250 per week. It does include two meals and there will be a one-off fee of 300 New Zealand dollar as a placement fee. So here are the three accommodation options that students can choose from. First of all, homestay, where you live with the New Zealand family. We had that on the previous slide. The other option is the student hostel. In the case of ARA, this is right next to campus, so it only takes you five minutes to get there. And I will show you a little bit about the student hostel. The first two options are organized by the university. So when you enroll, you can specify which accommodation you're interested in and ARA will organize this for you. You can also look for your own accommodation. This is called flatting. You would find a flat with other New Zealand students. And the best way to find those flatting situations is if you have a look on Trade Me or Facebook. We also have a Facebook group for students studying in New Zealand. And here is the link. And in this group, you can ask any question you might have and also about accommodation. It's a lovely testimonial. Up I've learned a lot about interaction with different people and also about myself. A lot of students comment that New Zealand is particularly strong in soft skills, so be prepared to be amazed. We have some lovely, lovely student videos on our website, studyappliedsciences.co.nz, and the best way to find these student stories is to go on our website and click on student stories. If that all sounds rather good, how can you enroll? First of all, you would fill in the application form and hand it into your international office. Once we have received your application, you will receive an offer of place and an invoice from ARA. You pay the invoice and with the receipt, you can apply for the student visa and you apply online. You go to immigration.govt.nz and here you click on study. 
Then you click on Explore Study Visa Options and then you select whether you come for less or more than six months. So your country of passport is very likely Norway. And you're very likely 18 or older and then it displays, displays the options. So for you, there are basically two options. You are either a fee-paying student if you pay study fees or an exchange student if you do not pay study fees. And then once you click on those, let's say you are an exchange student view and then at the next page you can actually click for applying. Okay, I hope this was helpful. And then once you have applied for your student visa, the only thing that's left to do is book your flight and look forward to your amazing stay in New Zealand. Well, here you are. We very much look forward to seeing you in New Zealand and thanks so much for this.